All right, I'm gonna shoot some uh, carry guns, some micro nines, um, literally micro nines. Right here, we got two Kimbers. That's a PM9, that's a car. That's a CM9 car. And then we got the SIG P, uh, P938. Let's see what they do. There's some reloaded ammo. We'll give it a run, see if we like it. All right, we're gonna start with the CM9. This is pretty much my favorite key. So we're gonna shoot at seven, five rounds of Midwest. Obviously, in a carry situation, I'd shoot a lot faster than that, but... Let's go ahead and take a look at that target. I'm going the wrong way. Bring that sucker back. Okay. That's not bad. That's not bad for a carry gun. Okay, let's go with the PM9 next. All right, now we have the PM9. I mean, look at this thing. It's like two fingers big. And my, my, my hand pretty much covers that thing. All right, seven yards. And by the way, this one does not have the finger groove, so it's really small. Here we go. Why I like my CM9 over my P9. So, definitely opened up quite a bit. That's um, roughly three fingers compared to this one, which is one finger here, so two. Yep. So that's the. So that was the um, PM9, the CM9. Now let's go with this Kimber Micro. Another small one, let me send it out to seven. Okay, seven yards, here we go. Feels good in the hand. Interesting. Let's take a look at that. So it's a good group, but it shot high. So right there, we've pretty much got one more, and I had a flyer. Yeah, it's pretty good. Pretty good. 
Let's roll with the other uh, Kimber Micro 9. Yeah, I like this grip. Here we go. Yeah, I like that one. Let me show you this one. Micro 9 here. Okay, let's take a look at that target. So, still shooting high. Could be me just today. Look at that group. finger and that one's touching. Ooh man that actually is a little bit of my CM9. Not by much but a little bit. Mm. I like it. Alright and here's my anticipated uh, gun for the day. It's a SIG P938. So I'm hoping this guy shoots. See. All right, here we go. Feels pretty nice. I might actually like that the best out of all of them. Let's see how it shoots. I'm going to have to give this one another run because it's got the best trigger of them all and I had a couple go off that I wasn't really ready for and that's just me making up excuses but anyways let's take a look so there's the two I wasn't ready for and there's the three Right there. That's three. So I feel like I need to give it another run. Like I said, um, I think that was the first one. Wasn't ready for that. And then I pulled one down here and I knew I did it. So just for fun, we're going to shoot another group right here with the P938. Okay, I figured I'd show you. I'm shooting Midwest uh, ammunition. It's remanufactured. And let's let you look at some of the, the brass. So this is not precision ammo, but these guns are doing pretty good with it. All right, so I'm gonna set you up. Actually, I'm gonna try and get on the target and I'm gonna shoot the P230. Uh, P938 again. All right, the center dot and the center of the target. P938, five rounds, seven yards.
there you go. That was actually another another fairly good group. Okay, let's bring that in and take a look at it. I know you saw it, but I'm just gonna see how how good the spread was. fingers so I can adjust for this it's a little bit to the right so we'll go a little left. but it looks like I need to shoot that Kimber over that is a dang good group let's shoot it over I'm gonna go right here and then we'll just see and then I'll follow it up with my CM9 because that was me being completely cold. First shots at the range. And it just never disappoints. And that would be this guy right here. Alright, should be close to center of the screen there. This is with the Micro 9 and the whole grip. It's not bad either. That's a pretty good group. Okay. And there you have it. Yeah, it's a pretty darn good group right there. Alright, let's go back here. That's, yeah, that's one finger across. Probably two fingers wide. Still, that's a better group, but I mean, it's definitely shooting good for me. All right, let's go back to the CM9. And by the way, that was that, that was this um, Kimber here. So, we'll go back to this guy and see if he still reigns for being an accurate gun. All right should be right there in the middle of the screen. The one on the left was with the Kimber Micro 9. Now we're going to shoot the car CM9 and see if it's the reigning champion still. It's a good group, but I don't think it's good enough. Mm. Look at that. Here it is. Oh, slightly over two fingers. And that is two fingers. Yep. Today the C9 has lost, but I still love it. <laughs> Alright, we're just going to do a revisit. Um, I pulled out some Fiochi. Um, 115 grain and, and shot a, another group with them and surprisingly have come up with different results. And 
I'll try to remember what it was. Got. All right. So that right there is the P930, the SIG. This right here is the car C and that group right there. Is the Kimber. Right. And then this group here, which is also very nice, is the other Kimber. And then last and not least, there's one flyer there, otherwise, that would have been a really nice group. And that was the PM9. I mean, all of those are, and actually, this one was a tighter group. Rip the dot, so put the paper. Put that was on my seat. Anyways, they're all shooting really good. So they're all shooting really good, and that's seven yards. So really, um, just a matter of preference. But my takeaway today is I really like the SIG. I mean, I like it a lot. So we'll start carrying that one for a while and give this guy a rest. He's been a good dog. Um, then I'm going to stay right here. This will be the next one that I'll do for a while. And number nine, micro nine. And I actually like the old grip. That really makes a, an improvement on the way that it feels over this grip. Okay, I had 15 rounds left. I, I just shot five, five, and five. Basically, as fast as I could control it at seven yards, five yards, excuse me, five yards. And in this order is how it lays out. Sig, Kimber, Car. First shot, um, I got the first shot, and I got it here. But the Sig still took it for that, and that was as fast as I could do it and control it. So, and I'll be honest with you, I've known that the car does not do as well because I usually end up slinging them somewhere because it's got a really crazy trigger. It's a long draw. But uh, the Micro did second best in the SIG. I mean, I'm happy with that all day long. And that, I would feel comfortable unloading in a situation if I needed to. And that's, that's all I got.